Welcome to Bionet. I am Shay Kalta. Today we will discuss about the vascular tissue system. Uh, it is belong to the anatomy topic. Uh, this topic is somewhat complicated and diagrammatical part. Need the last number of question from this. So vascular bundle, the vascular tissue system. It is considered most of the vascular, the one vascular. It is it belongs to the two types of tissue, xylem. And, and then is called phloem. Xylem and phloem, those uh, both are belongs to the complex tissue. Complex tissue. They may arrange in uh, different manners in different parts of the plants, uh, especially in the uh, root, stem, and leaf. So we discuss that uh, vascular tissue systems uh, mainly. It is uh, divided into three groups: uh, radial vascular bundles. Especially these type of vascular bundles are found in root, both dicot and monocot root. Conjunct type of vascular bundles are found in stem and leaves. Concentric uh, it is a uh, uh, totally different types of uh, vascular bundles. Uh, they again segregate into two groups leptocentric it is otherwise called as empty vessel in this case what happens the lipto the word lipto it is came from the uh, lepto lepto means you know the phloem tissue so very, very easily you can understood that leptocentric means phloem is at the center that means this group of cells which is present in the center are phloem tissue and phloem tissue is surrounded with another group of tissue that is a xylem so you should not be confused for here if the phloem tissues is surrounded with the xylem tissue this type of arrangement of vascular bundle we call as leptocentric or empty vessel and it is mostly found in monocot plants for example or uh, drachenia so next one the another type is called hydro hydro means you know that logically you can find out that hydro means water so water conducting tissue means you know that xylem tissue so in hydrocentric means hydro part is at the center means xylem tissue is at the center so now in case xylem is center and it is surrounded with the phloem tissue if the xylem tissue is surrounded by phloem tissue this type of arrangement of vascular the concentric uh, vascular bundle we call as hydrocentric or amphicrebal type of vascular bundles and this type of vascular bundles are mostly found in hydrilla the aquatic plants and fan plants next to come this conjunct so what is the mean by conjunct conjunct means joint the two patches are joint in same radius same radius means one circle only so this conjunct again further the divided into groups one is called collateral co means both lateral means side by side and bicollateral is bi co means bi means two and collateral means side by side here bi means two two patches are phloem patches are there two sides and middle xylem is there collateral means only co single lateral and this collateral vascular bundles again uh, further the divided into two groups one is open type and another is closed what the meaning of open open means uh, if the collateral and conjunct type of vascular bundles having the differentiated by presence of middle one layer of uh, cell so this layer of cell made up of parenchymatous cells and they make the dividing cells it will be mostly found in dicot plants it undergo division to produce the secondary xylem and secondary phloem during secondary growth so this middle part we call as cambium cambium uh, mostly the cambium is made up of of parenchymatous cells parenchymatous cells and it is dividable and divide to produce that secondary element secondary phloem if cambium is present in 
collateral conjunctive vascular tissue then we call as a open type of vascular bundle and this open type of vascular bundles are it is consists of outside that upper side is phloem tissue and lower portion it is consists of xylem tissue and this type of open collateral conjunct vascular tissues are found in uh, mostly in the stem and what type of stem is a dicot stem this type of open collateral conjunct uh, vascular tissues found in the dicot stem only these are absent in monocot stem why it is absent in monocot stem because the secondary growth does not occur in a monocot stem so that's why monocot stem the vascular bundles is closed type again same phloem tissue is above and xylem is down and this closed closed collateral conjunct vascular bundles are found in both the monocot stem and leaves leaves means both dicot and monocot both dicot and monocot that is dorsi ventral leaf and isobilateral leaf both total leaves it is consists of closed collateral conjunct type of vascular bundles now we get the clarity about that collateral vascular bundles clear now we come to that bicollateral bi means what two two collateral side by side is there and see the in bicollateral vascular bundles outside is there two patches are there the outside patch it is nothing but the phloem tissue upper side and lower side also it is consists of phloem that means how many phloem patches are there two phloem patches are there and middle is xylem tissue xylem patch only one is there one xylem tissue and two phloem tissues the xylem and phloems are separated by two cambium rings in bicollateral vascular bundles the two cambiums are there this is called cambium and this is called so cambium so now we can find out that uh, there are two cambiums are there in bicollateral vascular bundles so suppose you can, uh, come to the numerical numerical suppose you find out that uh, phloem cambium and xylem phloem cambium xylem means phloem means two ratio the ratio of phloem is two cambium two and xylem one sometimes they last bit question in a neat what the two is to 2 is to 1 in ratio means this is called phloem tissue two patches and cambium c two and xylem is one so this is the, this bicollateral type of vascular bundles mostly found in uh, the uh, you come the cucurbita i am writing an example cucurbita cucurbita and cucurbita mostly it belongs to the solanaceae family so solanaceae family the vascular bundles are made up of bicollateral type of vascular bundle then you come the radial radial means what here uh, the xylem and phloem patches are found in different radius different radius means you see that this these are the phloem tissue and these four patches are called xylem see the four patches are the phloem and four patches are xylem are there they are arranged alternate alternate means one by one phloem after xylem after phloem after xylem after phloem xylem phloem then alternate they are arranged and the different radius different radius means you can see that the radius the length is year to year length the xylem to xylem length is short and phloem to phloem the length will be more in this so now we can find out the length will be more between the phloem tissue and less in xylem tissue so according to different radius uh, that is called radial vascular bundles they are arranged in uh, mostly the roots and uh, the alternately they are arranged here the radial type of vascular bundles now we should complete the uh, the vascular tissue systems so first of all you take the radial type of vascular bundles found in roots 
and conjunct type of vesicular bundles found in stem and leaves and conjunct again you just find out that two types are collateral and bicollateral collateral uh, conjunct again you will come to the open and closed open type vesicular bundles are found in dicot stem because due to presence of cambium it undergo the differentiation to produce secondary phloem and secondary xylem and uh, in monocot cambium is absent because there is no differentiation there is no secondary growth takes place so in monocot stem and also in leaves leave both monocot and dicot leaves secondary growth never occurs so after next you come to that the bicolateral bicolateral it is the from different types of vesicular bundles undergo conjunct but bicolateral it is consist of two patches of phloem in two side upper and lower and two cambiums are the upper cambium and lower cambium and xylem is the center which is separated by the two cambium now here important suppose in bicolateral vesicular bundle secondary growth will be start secondary growth will start means which cambium will be activate so out of this this cambium the upper cambium will be activate or actively participate for secondary growth they will ask neat questions in bicolateral vesicular bundle which cambium is undergo the secondary growth means the upper cambium will undergo for secondary growth next you come the concentric concentric in different form is there here uh, totally it is found in monocot plants and some of hydrilla and fan plants it is the two types of the lepto lepto means leptom you know the lepto means the other name of that phloem leptocentric means phloem is at the center it is surrounded by xylem tissue and hydro means water you know water conducting tissue is called xylem xylem is the center and surrounded by the phloem means hydrocentric it is also called as empiric rival and example hydrilla and fan and empiric vessel the example is dracona like share and subscribe my channel if you have any doubt or query you can just comment in the comment box